What do you know about the history of the Cincinnati Police Force back in the early 1800s? What do you know about the local heroes on the front lines? With slavery just being abolished, what were the African American roles in the law? And who are those heroes? That's what we're going to answer today. My name is Blake House, and today, I'm going to tell you about one of those African American police force heroes. This man right here is James A. Allen, the first African American detective in the city of Cincinnati. James Allen was born in 1857 in Greenupsburg, Kentucky, raised by J.M. Allen and Frank Allen. James Allen was raised tough. Being raised a tough man, this started his boxing career. But as he got older and money got tighter, he moved to Cincinnati, where he worked on a steamboat for several years. After his career of working on a steamboat, Robert J. Morgan took him under his wing as his coachman in Walnut Hill, Cincinnati. He worked as his coachman up until 1886, and by 1887, he was officially a Cincinnati policeman. This didn't last long, because a few years after being named a policeman, he was promoted to detective. His skills as a detective allowed him to repeatedly recover high-valued stolen goods. Local newspapers even praised him, calling his skills remarkable. Recently, I was given the opportunity to visit his final resting place at the Union Baptist Cemetery. The cemetery is very old, but the cemetery is also very beautiful. Established in 1864, the Union Baptist Cemetery is the oldest cemetery in Hamilton County. The Union Baptist Church was organized in 1831 as the color branch of the Enon Baptist Church when 14 members of predominantly white Enon Baptist congregation withdrew and formed their own congregation. Searching for the grave of James Allen was a difficult task. Many of the older graves are in overgrown areas, buried underneath the surface. On the website findagrave.com, I was able to find the section and lot number, F70. Even with the section and lot number at hand, I was still struggling to locate his resting place. And after four hours of searching countless rows of headstones, I decided to halt my search and absorb the beauty this cemetery had to offer. As Detective Allen's career came to an end, he eventually took on work with the Humane Society, where he looked out for the welfare of children and juveniles, and later served as a health officer. James Allen wasn't just Cincinnati's first black detective. He was a husband, a father, and one of Cincinnati's greatest heroes. 